Unitree Robotics says it's working on a live streamed robot fight club it plans to launch in about a month. Would you tune in? New video released from Unitree shows its G1 humanoid robots boxing humans, boxing one another, getting pushed over, and throwing punches. You've got the right hook, left hook, and an uppercut looking pretty good. They even throw in a few kicks here and there. But it looks like the G1 robots still need to work on their speed, defense, head movement, and footwork a bit if they really hope to be a contender. Unitree has also unveiled other humanoid robot updates in recent months, including a more dexterous hand called Dex5. While it's unclear whether this hand is any better for punching, the hand, or end effector as they're called in the robot business, features five fingers capable of more precise movements and 20 degrees of freedom. Force control allows owner operators to adjust the hand's positioning as needed. The DEX-5 was demonstrated in a video along with Unitree's H1 humanoid robot, a model that's nearly two feet taller than the G1 we saw boxing earlier. With its new end effectors, the H1 is shown doing tasks like solving a Rubik's Cube, turning a page in a book, spreading cards, and tossing an orange. A pair of similar hands were shown in a UC San Diego study in which the G1 demonstrated its ability to assist in various medical procedures via teleoperation. The hands used in this study are called Inspire Hands Gen 4 from Inspire Robots. Both these and the DEX5 hands seem to be an upgrade from the ones I shook back at CES earlier this year, which were mostly for show and I definitely wouldn't trust with any kind of medical work. The study's website provides insight into the teleoperation setup that they used, made up of HTC Vive trackers, foot pedals, and a webcam. The study covered medical procedures like an echocardiogram and an ultrasound, examination of a pregnant person, intubation, basque mag ventilation, needle placement, and suturing. While the study concluded there were some promising possibilities in how teleoperated humanoid robots might be useful in medicine, challenges still remain, including whether the robots can move with enough force to perform the procedures, as well as sensor sensitivity issues affecting accuracy. It appears we may be entering a new era in which Unitree's robots are capable of healing with their robot hands, or hitting. In a series of disclaimers at the end of its boxing video, Unitree called the new features, quote, relatively safe and encouraged no imitation. The company also routinely includes requests in its videos that users not make dangerous modifications to Unitree's robots or use them in a hazardous way. At least human and robot alike are shown wearing protective gear. Unitree's G1 robots can also do kung fu, kip ups, and side flips, so robot combat seems like the next logical step. Would you tune into robot boxing? Let us know down in the comments and subscribe to CNET so you don't miss the latest and greatest robot news. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go get back in the gym just in case one of these robots ever tries to throw hands. Oh boy.